All right, it was pretty amazing um, to see that eclipse yesterday. It's, um, it's just that from my vantage point, it was mainly the clouds eclipsing the sun. So it was a, it was a view of, uh, of, of the clouds. And this is the second eclipse in a row, I have to tell you, uh, where I haven't been able to see it because it was overcast. So you might think that you're suffering in your life, that you deal with difficulties, but this is what I'm dealing with right now. This is two eclipses in a row. You know, the last one, I couldn't see it. It was a bust. And they said, oh, well, you'll get another one in seven years. I waited seven years. I waited. I, this is the main, I, I did nothing but just wait for seven years for the next eclipse, and then I look out, and there's clouds again. Which is why I think... We need to ensure equitable and inclusive access to all astronomical events for everybody. Uh, I think there's not enough discussion about that for too long. Marginalized people like myself have not been able to see eclipses. We haven't been able to see shooting stars. And how many times I've heard people, oh, there's a shooting star. I look, I don't see a shooting star. In fact, recently there was a thing with the Jupiter where Jupiter was supposed to appear you know, larger than it has in however many years. Went outside to see it at night. Clouds again. Couldn't see it. So... Um, at this point, I'm not even sure if these celestial bodies e- even exist. Is there a Jupiter? Is there a sun? I, you know, I don't know. Because every time I try to look, it's cloudy. And it's not fair to me. Um, it's not fair to all marginalized communities. So this is, this is a conversation about inclusivity that we need to have. You've heard of DEI. Well, this is a, this is a DE sky is what, is what I'm talking about. And if that sounds incredibly stupid and insane, you should know that it's... It, Actually, not as stupid or insane as what was said, unironically, um, on The View yesterday. Let's watch this. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got ran the earthquake. Down the she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, for the, the first time <laughs> in cicada, cicada. like no, no, 100 no, no, years. No, 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 no. Two different, no, no, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two, different, there's times two are, different kinds of cicadas Yes, two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad cicadas. But no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe... You know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in I will a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists, that's or, or something point. is really or going going on. returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. I don't it, think it, that's it happens. And, and, the, and the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen. Okay, so. You know, I'm constantly saying that the left is beyond parody, but uh, this truly is beyond parody. Like, how do you even, how do you make fun of this? I don't, how do you satirize this? She just listed three things that have absolutely nothing to do with the climate and lumped them in as signs of climate change. So the, the orbit of the moon is now a result of climate change. The problem is that there isn't a more absurd claim that you could make to compare to this as a joke, right? Like, like I can't say, well, uh, that's like claiming that climate change on Earth causes the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Like, it, it, it's what she just said is not any more absurd than that. That that's the most absurd thing you can say on this topic has now been said. Now, I've been extremely clear and outspoken in my stance that abortion is undoubtedly evil and should be illegal in all circumstances. I'm also aware of the indoctrination and pro-abortion propaganda pushed by public schools and other liberal institutions. You all have heard uh, their lies that a baby in the womb is just a clump of cells or that a woman's reproductive rights include termination of pregnancy if the baby's life is an inconvenience to her. And then there's the quality of life argument that abortion is somehow justified because the mother doesn't have the means to take care of the baby. I don't think these people actually know what they're saying. Our society needs a massive overhaul when it comes to helping young women understand the inherent value of life and the duty and joy of motherhood. That's why an organization like Preborn is so critical. Preborn covers all the bases for soon-to-be mothers, particularly ones considering abortion. Preborn meets women with compassion, encouragement, and understanding. They provide women with the tools they need to choose life for their babies. Not only do they introduce women to their children through ultrasound, but they also provide education about pregnancy as well as two years of financial support for women who choose life. And they do all this at no cost to the mother. Help make a difference in the fight against abortion by supporting organizations like Preborn. Donate 28 bucks, the cost of one ultrasound, and help save a life today. To donate securely, dial pound 250 and say the keyword baby. That's pound 250 and say the keyword baby or go to preborn.com slash Matt. That's preborn.com slash Matt. Now, there are other things that are equally as absurd 
But unfortunately, it can't get more absurd than that. So in effect, and I don't know if this was the uh, if this is 4D chess that she's playing or what. But in effect, she's just killed all climate change jokes. We can't joke about this anymore. They're all dead now. She has killed them. Because now we have a prominent leftist on the record, on TV, saying that climate change causes an eclipse. There's nowhere else to take it now. We can't take this anywhere else. That, that, that's it. It's, there's no the Babylon Bee. You can't. What, what are you going to? All climate change jokes are done. It's a tragedy in a certain way. It really is. Because I enjoy making fun of climate alarmists. I enjoy it as much as the next person, probably a lot more. Uh, I really like making fun of them. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's important to me to be able to make fun of environmentalists and climate alarmists. And she has killed that. It's a little, you know what it is? A little piece of my heart has now been ripped out of me and destroyed because of this. I'm, I'm honestly upset about it. Every time the left t- t- takes it one step, they, they, they keep going, and then they eventually they cross that line where it's like, I, all right, can't satirize it anymore. That's, that's the, the funniest version of this thing you have just done in an, unironically. What can we do now? Because we're obviously fully at the point now where climate, when they talk about climate, uh, that just means anything that occurs anywhere in physical reality. That's what they mean by climate. Any, any occurrence, so when they talk about climate change, they just mean something has happened. S- some sort of event has occurred somewhere in the physical plane. Um, that's climate change. In fact, it's probably even broader than that because it doesn't even need to be a physical occurrence. Because they'll connect climate change to like anxiety and mental health and all these other things. So really, any concept at all is climate change, uh, which, which, which is another reason why you can't make fun of it anymore, because it, it, it now it means absolutely nothing at all. It has no real meaning, and so there's really no way to make fun of it, and I find that to be uh, really quite sad and unsettling. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Walsh Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.